Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I'm going to show you how I apply texture today. This canvas has been gessoed. Then I did a little bit of spray painting with a metallic. Then I added some modeling paste and some more clear gesso on top of that. And now I'm going to add these crumpled bits of tissue paper. And after that, I'm going to add a piece of cheesecloth. So I use Liquitex Clear Gesso to adhere the tissue and the cheesecloth to the, uh, to the canvas. The reason for using clear is sometimes I do add paint to the gesso if I want the base to be a color. But today I'm just using the clear gesso and I'm going to put a coat onto the canvas where I'm going to put the tissue. Now I realized afterwards I could just squirt the gesso onto the canvas and move it around with the paintbrush in this situation because I wasn't mixing a color into it. So a nice juicy coat goes on over top of that, that texture that I have on there. And I'm going to take the crumpled tissue paper and start patting it down onto that gesso. I do recommend wearing gloves. For some reason, I wasn't for this first part, uh, but do wear gloves. It's always a good practice to not, you know, subject your hands to contaminants. So as you see, I just squirted some gesso on top. I'm also gonna have to add a little bit underneath because my paper is not really adhering to the surface all that well. So you can keep adding gesso until you feel like the paper is glued to the surface. It's important to get most of the air bubbles out and in this process, you, you can move the tissue to create as much or as little texture as you want. So for a more dramatic look, scrunch the tissue together to make more ripples and waves. I'm doing a fairly even application here because I'm going to put a piece of cheesecloth on top of it.
So now I'm going to add the cheesecloth. And what I do is I take a bit of a tub, I put the cheesecloth in it, I put the clear gesso in it, and paint if I'm going to be using paint. Uh, in this case, I did not use paint. So I, put, I douse the cheesecloth into the gesso, get it really well soaked. I'm gonna take it out of the pan and I'm going to start applying it to the canvas. Again, you can decide how much uh, texture you want. You can really ripple up the cheesecloth or you can put it fairly uh, smoothly. It depends on the effect that you want to get. I did a little bit of a combination. You'll see when, when it's dry, you'll see how the texture actually pops up really nicely. I've added more gesso to make sure that this is really glued onto the canvas. I take uh, the edge pieces, I put them I let the cheesecloth and the tissue paper go a little bit over the edge. Um, but yes, this, this is the process. Um, now you're gonna leave it to dry for quite some time. You want it to be completely dry before the next step. And the next step could be adding more texture. The next step can be adding color. Uh, it's up to you what you wanna do with it. This is starting to look a little bit like a landscape painting. So we'll see where I go with this. And here is the dried result. Uh, I love, love the subtleness of the tissue. And then there's much more depth with the cheesecloth. You can build it up, you can build up layers. As I say on this piece, there was modeling paste first, then there was the tissue, and now the cheesecloth. So I started another piece to show you how I apply the cheesecloth and, you know, best laid plans. Camera was off when it was supposed to be on, it was on when it was supposed to be off. In this case, I'm going to use color. So I've, I've diluted a little bit of 24 karat gold by Americana Deco Art. And I'm just giving it a nice wash. I want this under the cheesecloth. I'm not going to put tissue this time. I'm just going to add a strip of the cheesecloth. And I just want a nice soft wash of gold. And here is the cheesecloth that has now adhered to the surface of the canvas. Uh, as I said, I used my clear gesso. I used the gold paint and a bit of water to soak the cheesecloth. Um, got it very saturated and then patted it down onto the surface. Uh, and I'm going to let this dry, and there's going to be some more layers of paint. This is where you start working on making the texture stand out. These last two pieces are just showing you more examples of applying texture to an acrylic pour that was dried and cured. I diluted some paint, I put tissue on, and then I put the cheesecloth cheese on. Um, so you can add to an existing painting or use it to embellish a painting. And in this case, similar to the gold one that I was showing you, this is uh, just putting cheesecloth onto a canvas with some light washes of color and a little bit of gold highlights. Anyway, I hope I've piqued your interest. Check out next week and we'll see where we go with it. Take care. Bye.